Okay, so uh, this is the 31 millimeter uh, full arch implant case and we always have an issue if it's like 31 or longer than this and when you have an implant case sometimes you bump into this kind of issue. So today I'd like to explain about what I did, uh, how to create this uh, 31 millimeter longer uh, implant cases. So I'll, this is the final case and basically this one was uh, made by like two pieces. So, and the biggest problem with this implant case is, as you can see, it's very long over here and the front anterior is like really short. So in this case, we have to totally make everything in two pieces over here. Yeah, due to this essential wax trying, so unfortunately we have to make this thin as possible here. Yes. But then we have to make the thicker, okay? Okay. So, uh, for first doing this, uh, we have to uh, mill the base part, the tissue and the implant component part. So we're gonna mill it out. And what I did is basically, once you mill it out, we're gonna prep all the tooth. Well, basically uh, you can prep the tooth on your uh, software uh, on the screen. But uh, the difference is, uh, since we don't have a lot of space length over here on the anterior region, uh, what we do is we have to prep the uh, tooth a little bit shorter than regularly. And what I did was prep it short and I put some grooves into the prep, make sure the crown will hold, okay? So, and uh, for this case, we milled the crowns in three pieces, anterior and molars. So, first you mill the base and after that, uh, we're gonna finish the base, and then we're gonna scan the base one more time, and then we're gonna make the crowns over it. Okay, so like I said, the crowns will be like in three pieces, so it's gonna be a molar part, four bridge, uh, four unit bridge, four unit bridge, well splinted, and six anterior splinted bridge. And once everything is milled together, what I'm gonna do is, we have to bond these crowns. Well, sometimes uh, you can use uh, cement in your lab, but I recommend to have something more uh, bonded uh, permanently and stronger. So what I always do is, I have this, uh, I always use this technique. Uh, it's from uh, Noitaki. They have a margin porcelain, and this is like a real high fuse ceramic. Uh, you have to he uh, heat it up uh, around like a thousand Celsius. And what we do is, uh, I go a little bit higher than a thousand. So basically, I go around like a thousand uh, one hundred, and hold it for like three minutes. So what we do is, when we make our crown, I make a hole on the lingual. The reason why is when we uh, put ceramic inside the crown, I condense the crown, try to fit the crown bring it down as much as possible. And we need a, a cement hole that uh, we can remove that uh, access cement, uh, porcelain out from the lingual. So once we condense everything, everything goes down, fit together, then we put it in the furnace and we heat it up to 1,100 Celsius. And you keep it like three minutes and that high temperature, actually everything will be fu fused together and you'll create one piece full large case. That's how I do it.